But I yes, I am, I am back here, and I have, a, I have a very important announcement to kick off this show with. Oh, yeah? Yes. It is true. Myself, Dave Meltzer, and Dwayne would like to buy WWE. We're interested. You would like to. You're interested. Now. We don't have nearly enough money. You, you, I was going to say, you've been digging in the cushions in that time, or have, have you been... I'm just saying... Talking to any I want it reported uh, from men? here on out that Brian Alvarez, Dave Meltzer, and Dwayne are also interested in buying World Wrestling Entertainment. Got it? Got it. All right. Who would run it? Not me. Probably Gwertz. I'd review it and talk about how awesome it is. That's what I'd do. All right. What did you talk about today? I've been gone. <laughs> Well, I talked a little bit about the fact that Barons has reported in on the cons, throwing their hat possibly yeah. in the ring and showing huh. interest. In, You're telling me they're in, interested too? Can I can't you, can, believe it. I know it. I know it. And I, I did mention that Nick. Are Khan you sure? Been, Hold on a second. Yes. Hold on a yes. second. Yes. Are you sure that mm-hmm. Shad and Tony Khan might have interest in buying WWE? Are you sure about that? You know, the thing is, Brian, even if you don't think that they have a real interest in buying it, you can't, there's no one who could say that Tony Khan would not be interested. Him himself, he would have interest, much like you, Dwayne, and Dave, in possibly reaching out to buy WWE. So, mm. yeah, they, they may very well have interest. Interesting. Well, what else did you talk about? I talked about the fact that Nick Khan... Uh, is the buffer among McMahon family members, which I don't think is any breaking news really to anybody that's been following Nick Khan and his relationship with the McMahon family over the past, what, five years now or so. So that was about it. At one point, the audio cut out. Hopefully uh, our connection was fine. It seemed to be just on byline's end, but we'll, we'll see. Other than that, that's pretty much been about it. Well, you know, a guy like Nick Khan, that's a good role for him because I don't know if you know this about Vince, but he can be hard to work with. No. Yeah. Wow. He can be hard to work with. <laughs> He's like a, a All right, I'm 80%. condition when you're on the radio. But it's the point hard to is, work with. the point is, yeah, I can imagine being his uh, his daughter or his son-in-law, and uh, and he treats you like everybody else. I can understand that being difficult. Yeah. Stephanie you know McMahon you... is in the hospital, apparently ankle surgery. Oh. Oh. I don't know what happened, but uh, she's in the hospital and uh, had her foot in the big gimmick there. So could be something recent, could be something she's had for a long time that she's finally getting taken care of. But Good. best Shot wishes to Lanes. her. I hope she heals faster than I did from this thing. Now, do you think Vince is going to send out some sort of social media thing, hoping his daughter gets better? Well, I don't think he has yet. Mm. He's busy. You know, do you think he would refer to Stephanie as his daughter if he were to send out a social media tweet about that situation? Of course he would. Of course he would. He'd call her his little girl. Really? Well, what maybe I guess he would. Uh, Stephanie, yes. when's the last time Stephanie has uh, released anything about her father? You know, because she leaves the company. And, man, it's always about the chairman. It's always about Vince. And I can understand that from a business point of view. But, man, that seems to be a very cold family sometimes trying to deal with Vince. Hey, listen, when he when he stepped down, she went on SmackDown. She did call him her father, and she cried. So that's what happened, just so mm-hmm. you all know. Stephanie McMahon, Triple H, opposed a potential sale, it says here on the front page. They did not want to sell. Probably. It's so funny. Nothing. Now, the one I'm thinking about, Andre, Stephanie stories, but that's that's a, a separate thing here. But uh, no, no, continue on. Go ahead. Well, uh, here's the thing, everybody. I don't want to talk about stuff I don't know, but let's look at facts, okay? Let's look at facts. I mean, maybe the guy's got a lot of hobbies, but what's Triple H going to do if he's not in the wrestling business? He's wanted to do this since he was a teenager. He's wanted to do this forever, and he has done it forever, okay? Now, for those of you that have short memories, yes. Triple H is still doing what he was doing before Vince came back as of today, okay? But, but, Vince ousted him. He was the guy that was in charge of NXT. He was the guy in charge of beating Dynamite on Wednesdays. He failed in that task. He was removed from his position. And NXT 2.0 rose from the ashes. Or whatever the opposite of that is. 
It, it, it was burned up in a fire is what actually happened. <laughs> Sunk into the earth. Yes. So this guy has been removed once by Vince, okay? Now, Dave has one timeline about the Stephanie thing. He may very well be right, but what I remember is Stephanie also stepped down. Now, he claims she stepped down. It was all on her. She had planned to do it months in advance. May very well be true, okay? But once she stepped down, you know, the rumor was that he'd gotten rid of her. And they leaked to the media that she sucked at her job. Pretty much. Okay. Pretty much. And by the way, again, as I mentioned during the first part of that segment, Stephanie was not the only one at the time being removed or switching positions at that time. It's just that she was the one who stepped down and she's the one who's named McMahon that ultimately other things, again, she wasn't the only one toasted in that business in, insider article, but obviously because of who she is, it stands out. Well, then she came back. Then her father came back. And she immediately was gone again. And now this time, again, the story is that her dad got rid of her. So, you know... I'm trying to put pieces together here. It sounds to me like Triple H and Steph feel that if they sell the company, they're they're toast. They're done. You think? Whereas if they don't sell the company, they'll run the company, and uh, Vince probably won't be there. And, of course, the story about Nick Khan having to be an intermediary. Sounds like they don't have the easiest time working together. That's what it sounds like to me. Hmm. So I don't know what's going to happen here. Actually, I do know what's going to happen. It's going to be sold, and Vince is going to stick around. Although, uh, I, I do want to make this clear, because uh, people have been talking about this. It does not matter. It does not matter what guarantee Vince McMahon gets from whoever buys WWE. He can always be removed from his position. This has happened a million times in the history of every business ever, okay? In fact, it's still a big story now why Dana White has not been punished for slapping his wife. Fighters now calling for him to be gone. Maybe not in those exact words because they want to get booked, but you know what I'm saying. So, uh, you know, he was guaranteed a position or whatever, and, uh, and he could at any moment be ousted, Okay. Ted Turner was ousted from his own company that he created. I mean, I can go on and on. People that, you know, there was a merger, there was a sale. So-and-so was guaranteed a job. Hit the fan. They're out of there. Okay? So there's no there's no 100%. Now, obviously, you know, if, he, if they sell to the Saudis, there's a pretty damn good chance he ain't going to be ousted for much. But you never know. But Disney, NBC Universal, Amazon... Don't think this is for life. Nothing's for life. Except the NWO. Right? Not the not the BWO? They're definitely not for life. The Thank WWE you. legendary joke, joke book. book. Why do WWE superstars' fingers hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Why were Gene Erkerlund's pants always so angry Erkerland? <laughs> where does beth phoenix shop online amazon the glamazon oh, yeah. yep no no I mean, no. <laughs> no that is the answer glamazon that's what i said <laughs> what? No, you said gramazon no i said oh. glamazon oh, there should be a gramazon <laughs> yeah gramazon actually you get, like, puppy you get pictures. it to you real slow if you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.